Hi, I'm Jillian Hayes. Welcome to our online information session for the Masters of Human Computer Interaction and Design at the University of California, Irvine. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about the story of the MHCID program, an overview of the curriculum and application process, and try to answer some frequently asked questions. I really strongly encourage you, if you are local to the Irvine area, to come to one of our in-person information sessions. If you are um, more remote, attend one of our synchronous online information sessions because those will provide you an opportunity to ask additional questions, hear from our program director and other folks. But today, hopefully, I'll be able to give you some basics. So first, how did we get here? Well, we started looking several years ago and thinking about user experience and our role as a school that had a top tier human computer interaction undergraduate program, as well as really great PhD students, faculty doing research in this area, but no master's program. And the trouble is there are more and more and more jobs that need a master's in something related to user experience, HCI, design, and so on. So what we saw is in 2014, Brazen declared the UX designer as the fifth best career. Uh, CBS Money Watch this, uh, just this year ranked UX designer the ninth best job in America and Simply Hired estimated in 2015 that there were just a crazy amount of open jobs in user experience. We don't see this trend going away. If anything, it's accelerating and our graduates are getting placed in great programs. I was also getting a lot of grief from my friends at other top universities who have faculty and uh, undergraduate programs and PhD programs similar to ours, but also have master's programs. And they were telling me we're getting hundreds and hundreds of applications. We can't take all these great students. UCI needs to be in this space. So here we are. Um, we decided that we would go after this and we wanted to make sure that our master's students would get everything that they wanted. So we were happy to see that Fortune called uh, the Master's in Human Computer Interaction the number four best graduate degree with high median salary, high projected job growth, and people being relatively highly satisfied and with relatively low stress. As I mentioned, there is a growing need, particularly in California, we see this huge number. So uh, about three years ago, there were 6,000 jobs that went unfilled in California alone for people with masters in HCI. We are, we, we've recently commissioned a new study, so we'll have updated numbers um, soon, but basically, we're just not producing nearly enough people. Meanwhile, user experience is changing substantially. What we're seeing is more and more people are doing online work, distributed collaboration, and other kinds of things. So we need to be teaching students to do user experience work, to do human-computer interaction in a reality that includes a lot of people not being co-located anymore, whether that means you're working from home or working in another country. So our solution is we work on training the best HCI design and UX professionals who are already working today for the team's positions and projects of tomorrow. We have a mixed format that involves intense in-person workshops coupled with flexible, distributed, self-paced learning. We do a lot of studio critique, a lot of hands-on prototyping and making, getting out there and doing research, user research, and of course, a lot of work on teams, business preparedness, and so on. And we partner with really leading people in the industry to understand what the career trajectories are gonna look like for our students. So let me show you some of the instructors as well as the leadership for the program who you'll be interacting with if you apply and are accepted to uh, the master's program this fall. Darren Denenberg uh, comes from a cognitive science background. He teaches our capstone project. Uh, there's me right there. Um, I teach the introduction, project, uh, introduction class that's the one week intensive on campus. Judy Olson uh, is actually now retired from UCI, but as a founding faculty member, continues to come back and teach us. Blake DeCosola is our only non-faculty instructor, um, and he's a strategy director for Sapient in the UK and teaches uh, our um, empirical methods course. Steve Hasselflux, our program director. Jesse Jackson uh, from the arts teaches our introductory design class. 
Melissa Masmanian, who is both in the informatics department as well as in business, teaches, uh, again, one of the empirical methods courses, as well as a lot of professionalization and teamwork-focused courses. Don Patterson, another one of our founding faculty members, teaches our technical content. And then Katie Salen, who has a background in game design uh, and other kinds of interactive design, teaches our second design course. So I've told you a little bit about the curriculum in terms of the faculty, but here you can just see the details. And I would encourage all of you, because you are watching this remotely, to go ahead and click through our website and see what the pathway is. But the main thing to notice is that we do a fall kickoff in which you are with us for a week. It is very intense. You do pre-reading before you come, and then you are with us from the time you wake up until the time you go to bed, which is often quite late, every day for a week, um, and that really grounds you for the rest of the program. Then you take two classes remotely each quarter, including another three-day intensive in person at the beginning of spring quarter, and a final three-day intensive at the end of the program in which you do your finale, present your capstone project, and participate in a career conference. Here are the dates that we have tentatively set for next year's in-person intensives. intensives. I want to note these are tentative dates. We are considering adding a fourth intensive based on feedback from our first two cohorts, but you can mark these at least as tentative dates for now. If you know, for example, that you're getting married September 12, 2018, it's probably not a good idea to apply to the program because these are mandatory dates and we do expect you to be there the entire time and be fully committed taking vacation days from work and so on. This is just a little hint of what some of the activities look like at our in-person intensives. These are photos from our first cohort. You do have a mix of lecture-based work as well as uh, working in teams and doing hands-on uh, activities. So one of the big things I get asked a lot of questions about is the capstone projects. All of our capstone projects are six months long. You work with an external client and we try to get you to complete all kinds of work that you would have learned in the program. So you'll do research, design, uh, empirical work, other kinds of HCI work, and so on, and you'll finalize with a demonstration and public pitch session at our UX Career Conference. We say portfolio, not in the traditional design portfolio, but more in what I call sort of a bucket of work. This is your sample work product, and so if you're a researcher, you're going to show off your research work. If you're more of a designer, it will look more like a traditional portfolio. These are the uh, companies that we had in place for year one. We are still working on our second cohort's capstones. Many of these companies will be coming back. We've also expanded because the cohort has grown. We'll be working with Google, CoreLogic, uh, several other companies as well. Our first cohort, we can see here, we had 22 students, almost all from the West Coast, with a huge mix of undergraduate majors. And that's something that we're really proud of and we work hard on because this mix really makes for good design teams, makes for good research teams, makes for good user experience. They graduated, 100% of them graduated, I'm very proud to say that, and 90% of them were employed only one month post-graduation. We still have a couple of them out there trying to figure out what they wanna do with themselves, but that's a great employment rate and higher than we see with most of our peer programs. Our second cohort is happening now. You can see them there during their first week intensive, very excited. Um, 28 students, again, only one international, again, mostly West Coast and highly varied backgrounds. We have a great industry advisory board who supports us in these efforts. Uh, they come from all over and they've been really incredible in helping us to match our program needs uh, to the industry needs and what we're teaching to make sure that we really are producing the user experience uh, folks of the future. These uh, individuals also all mentor students in our program, which is something that they are very generous in doing with their time. So speaking of the mentorship program, every student is paired with one or more mentors from the industry. In the first year, these, every student got two mentors um, from, the in, from industry. Uh, this year, we're working out uh, the mentorship now, but our plan is one mentor who's a relatively senior person from industry and one mentor who comes from our program and is an alumni of our program. So if you come, we hope that you will also mentor once you become an, alum, uh, an alumnus. And the companies that they come from are highly varied again, and we have a very involved mentorship matching process to make sure that everyone is getting people that they'll be able to have good connections with. 
costs and aid, we have been able to keep the costs uh, fixed for the first three years of the program, which we're very happy about. Comes in just under $50,000 for the full year. That includes all of your tuition and mandatory fees, as well as books, software like Adobe Creative Cloud, and so on, and the lodging and meals during the intensives. You do need to get yourself here, so whether that's by car, train, boat, plane, you take care of getting here. Once you're here, we take care of you completely. We do give out 20% scholarships to the top 20% of our admits. Um, and this happens based on your admissions material, so you don't need to give us any additional material in the application. Everyone is considered for the 20 for 20 scholarship. And of course, there are lots of other aid. Many of our students um, have companies that have been paying partial or full um, for their education, other external fellowships, and so on. You should apply for complete your FAFSA as soon as you possibly can because that does help you get your loans and your federal aid more quickly. Admissions deadline this year will be March 15th. You will write a statement of purpose. This is largely just why do you want to get a master's in human computer interaction? What is interesting to you about it? Where do you see yourself going? You'll include your resume. We need all of your transcripts and those must be the official transcripts. Three letters of recommendation. I highly recommend you submit ones from people that you work with, either a boss or a peer or even an external client. Those are really important for a professional program like this, um, as much if not more so than faculty. A minimum GPA of 3.0. We do have some flexibility in this, but it requires an exception, so you should have really amazing materials otherwise if you don't have a GPA of 3.0. And then one of either a GRE or a professional portfolio. Again, don't think of this as a standard design portfolio. This is just work samples. So put your materials somewhere online. If you have questions about it, reach out to Steve or to myself um, about how you might put those together. It does not have to look like a design portfolio. It could be examples of, if you're in marketing, it could be um, reports that you might have generated. If you are an architect, it could be blueprints. Uh, anything that shows us your, your work product. And then a TOEFL if you need it. You'll need to see the UCI Graduate Division website to find out if you fit into those categories. So if you have any questions, please attend one of the synchronous uh, information sessions. Email Steve at MHCI Director or Andrea, who is our Student Affairs Representative at MHCID at ics.uci.edu. And uh, we hope that you'll apply and we'll see you next fall. Thanks.